Hello, my name is Paul Priestley and welcome to another of my art tutorials. This time I'm going to be showing you how to draw an eye brilliantly, starting with simple shapes and finishing with a complete tonal drawing. This video is aimed at beginners and those who teach children and anyone who's learning how to draw. Now we're going to start just by drawing it very, very lightly first of all. So I'm just starting here with a tear duct. Here's, and we'll come hot around, across and down and we'll sweep around here. Now don't make this shape too high because if you make it too high it will make it look as though it's a very innocent young child and we don't want that in this particular section so we're just going to put nice curves in here and in the centre of the curve we're going to put the pupil but when I draw the circle for the pupil I am not going to quite complete it. I'm going to leave a little space out here and possibly a little space just about there. I'm then going to just do the eyelid. There we go, Ron. The more line, the curves you've got here, the more character you'll get to your eye. And we'll just have a little line just coming along here. So we've worked on our basic shape for the eye. Now, the next thing to do is I'm going to work on the pupil in the center. So I'm going to start shading this in and I'm going to start pressing on quite firmly now and as you can see here now once we've got the center the pupil shaded in I'm just going to put a little shading just over here because this is going to be a highlight in the inside the centre of the eye here okay and you can put a little your little lines on like that so we just got that and we may come back and work on this a bit darker later on okay I'm going to start now with the side of the iris and again if you make the outside line fairly dark here and same on the other side as you can see like this and then when we shade in the um, iris we're going to use almost like spokes in a wheel we're going to bring lines in you see like this and I'm going to go around here radiating out from the center of the eye and I'm just going backwards and forwards with my pencil as you can see You can see once we've gone around here like this, the, the eyeball is beginning to look a little bit more realistic. And you can just go around the edge slightly, just a little bit further. You can see here just a touch of shadow around the edges, just to make it look a little bit more round, as you can see. There. Now, I'm going to strengthen the line around here. So this line is going to come in here. This is where the eyelashes are going to come from is eventually. But we're pressing that down. I'm going to go back over that a couple of times. And we're going to come around here as well. So I'm doing this fairly, fairly strongly now. It's a very simple basic line on there. Okay, now I'll do a little shading on here. Now, you, because we have eyelashes coming out along the side of the eye here, then what you will find is that you will have a shadow cast by those eyelashes as they come around onto the eye itself. Remember that this is curved this way, but it's also curved this way. 
So one interesting way of making this eye look even more three-dimensional is by putting a little shadow along this top edge here because that's where the uh, eyelashes will cast their shadow. So I'm just going to put a very very light shadow to start with just along here. So I'm beginning to just and as you're doing this you make sure that you also go across and you can see the eyes beginning to to work. The same thing applies down here as well if you have a little light shadow just along here just a touch shadow along here along here as well. There we are. We can begin then to just flick out the eyelashes. Now flick them out from the center all the time. And you can see how mine are just begin to flick around. And we can then just darken this area just underneath the eyelid itself, just to make it slightly stronger along here. Just so we can make that look really quite convincing. Now with the bottom eye, don't bring the eyelashes from this line, take them out from the bottom line here and again these are very very light, just a few little touches. Interestingly if you paint a portrait people rarely paint eyelashes in portraits, it just makes the eye look a little cluttered but if you're drawing it it can make it look that little bit more real. Now just a couple of other little lines might come down here and you might have a line coming up here again um, just to finish the eye off and we might just put a little shading just along here. Okay, um, if you want to work a little further on the eyelid or the eye the eye itself, the iris should I say, not the eyelid, then just a little bit of darker shading just around the edge here, you see, just around the edge of the iris here and you can possibly just darken the shadow that we have along the top here. Right, you can see here that um, I just add a little bit of shadow, starting off with a nice basic shape nice circle in here. Make sure that you don't draw a complete circle here because if you do it makes the eyes look as though you're they're staring and you don't really want that. Um, pupil in the middle here. Look for the reflections, look for the reflections and you'll see how the thing works. Okay, I'm just going to do a touch more shading now and just strengthen some of this around here. You can see that as you come around here, you're going to get this really quite, quite dark. Just to finish off here. So coming around here. As you can see, we're coming coming towards the end. You can spend more time doing gradual changes in tone coming along here, for example, and in the eye as well, so that you can get a really interesting and imaginative looking piece by the time you have finished. Okay, I think we will probably leave it at that.